Although it is often pushed to the side during the festive rush, during the post-Christmas fallout, weight loss will once more be at the top of many of our agendas. But where does excess weight go when we lose it? The answer given at the end may be a surprise for you. Today, we will talk about how to lose weight via your lungs. Or can you lose weight via your lungs? Make sure to watch the video till the end to get your answer. Before that, like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay connected and get updates on new videos and amazing content. Let's get back to our today's topic. If you lose 10 kilograms of fat, precisely 8.4 kilograms comes out through your lungs and the remaining 1.6 kilograms turns into water. In other words, nearly all the weight we lose is exhaled. Thus, the correct answer is that fat is converted to carbon dioxide in water. You exhale the carbon dioxide and the water mixes into your circulation until it's lost as urine or sweat. This surprises just about everyone, but actually, almost everything we eat comes back out via the lungs. Every carbohydrate you digest and nearly all the fats are converted to carbon dioxide in water. The same goes for alcohol. Protein shares the same fate, except for the small part that turns into urea and other solids, which you excrete as urine. The only thing in food that makes it to your colon undigested and intact is dietary fiber, think corn. Everything else you swallow is absorbed into your bloodstream and organs. And after that, it's not going anywhere until you've vaporized it. Eat less, exhale more. So if fat turns into carbon dioxide, could simply breathing more make you lose weight? Unfortunately, no. Huffing and puffing more than you need to is called hyperventilation and will only make you dizzy or possibly faint. The only way you can consciously increase the amount of carbon dioxide your body is producing is by moving your muscles. But here's some more good news. Simply standing up and getting dressed more than doubles your metabolic rate. In other words, if you simply tried on all your outfits for 24 hours, you'd exhale more than 1,200 grams of carbon dioxide. More realistically, going for a walk triples your metabolic rate, and so will cooking, vacuuming, and sweeping. And you can lose weight by just breathing out that carbon dioxide. But how much? The question then arises is how many calories we can burn by breathing out how much carbon dioxide? The answer is that metabolizing 100 grams of fat consumes 290 grams of oxygen and produces 280 grams of carbon dioxide plus 110 grams of water. The food you eat can't change these figures. Therefore, to lose 100 grams of fat, you have to exhale 280 grams of carbon dioxide on top of what you'll produce by vaporizing all your food, no matter what it is. While deep breaths don't burn too many calories, this is how most burned off fat exits your body. You may have thought it was mostly through sweat, urine, or some other excretion. But the truth is that as you exercise or go about your day, the majority of the fat you lose minus 84% is converted into carbon dioxide and leaves your body through your lungs. The remaining 16% is converted to water, which exits your body through urine, feces, sweat, tears, or other bodily fluids. That's it for today's video. Share your reviews with us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay connected and get updates on new videos and amazing content.